If we take a build and click on the change log, we can see a list of all of the changes that have occurred in that build, where we have information about the description that was entered when committing to version control. We have information about who made those changes, the files associated with that change, the header for the version control. In this case, Git is a GUID and the time and date. Now we can filter the changes by a specific user. So for instance, I can select changes by Hadi or select all users. I can also filter changes based on a specific path. So for instance, I know that my tests are under the path specs and I can filter by those indicating only those changes that have to do with specs. We also have a series of options at the bottom. One of them is show graph, which is useful for version control systems that are distributed such as Git or Mercurial. Here we can see, for instance, that we've made a branching of a specific uh, feature and we've merged it back in. We can also click on show builds where it will show the build information, including the test passed, tests that have failed, etc. And we can click on show files. Now, before doing that, we can always access all of the different files for these changes by hovering over the files column and selecting all of the different ones. But if we click on show files, what it will do is place these files embedded inside the actual page. So we no longer have to hover over, only indicating the number of files that have changed. We can click on any of these files. And what happens is that Team City opens up the diff viewer inside the browser where we can see the changes, where we can select whether we want to ignore white spaces, copy to clipboard, open an IDE, etc. Last but not least, we can also download a patch of a specific file or the changes and save it to a location and then use that patch. Or if we have the corresponding Team City plugin installed in the different IDEs, we can click to download the patch to the IDE. We can also do this operation from inside an actual IDE. With Team City, instead of having to browse through the change log to detect our changes, we can easily do that by clicking on the My Changes link at the top. If we do this, what Team City would display is our changes. However, for that to happen, we need to configure something in Team City. Now, in the module that covers settings and user profile, I've shown you how to configure this. But essentially, what is required is that we map the username that we're using in our VCS to a specific user that we're logged in with on the Team City. Assuming that we have the user mapped, we can then click on My Changes and see all of the changes that we have made in all the different projects that we belong to. Here we can see in the first tab all of our projects. And then on each tab, we can see all of the different projects that we belong to. So I could click, for instance, Utrack Sharp and see all of the changes for Utrack Sharp. We can expand or collapse each change and see the builds that it belongs to, the tests that have passed, the tests that have failed. From there, again, access the build log. You can also click on the commit to see in more detail information about the changes, the problems, the tests, the builds, files, etc. On the right hand side, we see a graph which gives us information about our impact with our changes on the project. We can click on the what do the colors link mean to see information about this graph, where red would indicate that a build failure with new problems has occurred. Uh, dotted red would be build failure without new problems and so on and so forth. If we have the plugin installed for the different IDEs, which we support IntelliJ, Visual Studio, Eclipse, we can select a specific file and select click to open an active IDE. If we do this, what it does is then open the file in the IDE. So we can switch over and immediately see it there. Obviously, we can also see the file still in the browser by selecting it and seeing the diff in the browser. From within the IDE, in this case Visual Studio, we can also select the Team City entry and click on My Changes. From within the IDE, in this case, Visual Studio. Once we've logged into Team City, we can also select My Changes. From here, Team City will also display all of the changes that we have made for this project. So we can see here that we have 
different changes made and we can select all of these ones and see all of the changes made for them and from each of these entries select to open the build log or open in web if we click on open build log it will show us the log inside visual studio we can also select open in web to see the actual build inside the web so whether we're working from within the ide or from the browser we can always see our changes easily often changes haven't been applied and team city displays these changes or pending changes for us on the main page of the build where we can hover over the drop down arrow to see a list of the different changes that are pending we can see that the changes are grouped by the actual user so for instance we see that Vladimir has some changes pending with five files and then Andre has a whole bunch of other changes pending with the different files if we click on the actual link we can see this in more detail and from here much like when we saw the change log we can show the graph show the files as well as download the patch or open in the IDE and also run the build with this change.